All right, race procedures. This is probably the fun part. Not really. If you're like me, it ain't. So I'm the race director as well. So, yeah. Um, and, and, and obviously we'll have other eyes in there, but I'm, I'm the race, main race director. Um, so uh, I get, get, to, get to do both things here. Um, let's just go on qualifying, straight up start. Each and every race, straight up start, no redraw, nothing this, just kind of old school, straight up start. Um, double file restarts, obviously. Leader chooses, leader chooses every time the leader chooses, inside or out, okay? That's the only person that chooses. Gotcha. Um, uh, Let's talk about, this is probably the, the big, big thing right here that uh, is a little, I don't say a little different, it's really not, but ears up for sure, listen to this. Okay. Pitting procedures for during the race. Obviously, it's green flag only no matter how many laps. What we will do, the, a yellow comes out, pace car picks up the field. I will open the pits. When I, you'll come, pace car come and hits the start. Once we're kind of organized here, pace car will um, hit the finish line. The finish line. There's a different start and finish line. People say it in racing. There's they're two different places. So the finish line, and I will say we're opening the pits next time by. That's your time to pull down. Okay, that is the one and only lap. The one and only lap that you can come into the pits, everybody, okay? Lap, 10 laps down, one lap down, whatever, okay? One and only pit time to come into the pits because we're not counting yellows. So if you need work, if it's a seven, seven laps, you can stay in there at seven laps and get it done. There ain't no reason to hurry and, bust, you know, run over somebody or whatever. So you come in on that time. As long as you come in on that time, we will group you with, like, if you're one lap down, you'll race with one lap down cars. If you're on a lead lap, you'll race with lead lap cars. So let's use this for example. And this is the best way to do it. I'm sure some minds are being blown right now. Uh, but just say there's 15 cars that are on the lead lap, and you're running 13th, and there is 15 to go. And you said, I'm going to make a track bar adjustment. And you decide to pull in on the lap that you're supposed to when the pits are open. Because after that, well, one lap, they're closed. So you decide, oh, I'm going to make an adjustment. You come in, and you'll get to go out 15th in line. Even if, there, if there's 25 cars still on the track, being you're on the lead lap to car, you'll get to go back 15th car in line. Does everybody understand that? Oh, gosh, there's got to be some questions on this deal. Okay, wow. Nope, nope, nope. I didn't say, you know, I, didn't, I never said you get your position back. You'll be grouped. Nope, nope, yep, you'll be grouped. Same thing, so your lead lap and car's one lap down. But but if you want to race in the pits, that's fine, right? If I, you know, I, I, obviously it's you know the only thing you should be going to the pits for adjustments because you can't change a tire unless it's flat, or 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 excuse me, damage whatever flat. So but yeah, I mean if if there's three guys that come in right in that scenario, you know, say 13, 14, and 15 come in, then yeah, it's how they come out will go back as how they fall in line, okay. And the reason we're doing this is because the fans, you guys, everybody, you want to race with who you're racing with. And obviously the guys on lead lap are racing for position and money and wins. And the guys one lap down are racing for a lucky dog to be back in it. Okay? Um, inside 10 to go, there's no lucky dog. So therefore, that's not necessary. You get what I'm saying? 
No. No. Well, are you talking about? You talk. Well. We'll, we'll still group you. Yep. You'll be you'll be grouped the entire time. But I thought what I guess what I was too. I want to make clear if if you know for some reason if you're in that pits the whole time, right? You know, because you came in or whatever, and we're getting ready, and, it, and it's your, it's up to your spotters and stuff to monitor. If we're, we're going to say, all right, we're going to double up next time by, and you don't come out and try to jump in when we're doubling up, it, you got to go to the rear of the field. I can't, I'm not going to, once guys, you know as well as I do, once guys start do, doubling up, they don't, you can't go over there and make it three wide and be like, oh, I'm, I'm late for the party. Can I still get my position? Nope, you'll be in the rear. What I'm gonna what I'm gonna say I'm gonna say we're gonna double up next time by, and then that'll kind of give you your deal, and we'll you know basically we'll burn a little lap there to come around, and that's it. Yep. Yep. Yes. Yep. The end of pit road. Yep. Because we'll have a stop and go guy. Yes. He'll make the call as well as myself and my assistant person. Yep. Any other questions? It's really not that hard once you, I give you a scenario to think about. But basically, I know you guys want to race, race with the people you're racing against and racing for something, and so do the fans. Yes. Yep. Yep. Uh-huh. Right. Yep. Well, we're, we're we're always grouping them. So if if he's if he's the third in line and he's one lap down, he's because he's still going to be in the position, of lucky dog, right? And 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 I, I get guess that yeah, he he has a gap of five five lead lap cars that he's got a cushion compared to the guy was, but that's that's just kind of racing luck. No different than let's just say uh, the guy who who didn't make it out in time or whatever, and he's the last car. Like we have back-to-back -back cautions, a guy who's who's in the last car, another quick caution comes out, he'll get to pass that you know and get back up there. All we're just trying to do is is, is group group the guys who who have something to race for. I mean, I, I I know I hate, I mean, and I know you guys have hate racing against a guy and having to be a guy who's four laps down without a nose. I mean, that's that's all we're trying to do. Yes, Clay. race monitor not race not the race monitor system like legend car race monitor system. oh 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 yeah as far as broadcasting it yes and of course spotters and and it's up spotters and we'll have an official and an official spotter booth which will be you know and you have you can't start the race without a spotter um uh i, I forget some of these things because some some other deals don't have these things uh but uh, yes you'll have a spotter have a spotter Potter booth, and it's up to you to scan, and we've provided you guys with the frequency, um, and it's up to you guys to scan and listen. Um, it's 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 required. But yes, race monitor is a great tool to kind of help with things. Absolutely, yep. Spotter, <laughs> spotter, absolutely, yep, yep, and it's got to have your your number on it. Because we won't know a lot of you guys, and there'll be people come and go, and you know, may only run two races. This that make sure it has your your uh, your number on the back of your headset. So yes, hey, Chris, make sure you restate the question because some of these are kind of hard to hear. Well, the question was, does um, can someone in the pits scan as the official listening uh, deal? No, your, your your spotter must have have a scanner. Any other questions? All right. So, no lucky dogs inside 10 to go. Straight up start. Leader chooses. Um, let's go jumping, jumping the start real quick. Uh, if you jump the start, we go off a line, a single line, which we will make aware before the race. Not a box, a line, a line, one line. You have a starting line. And you have a finish line, not a start-finish line, starting line and a finish line, starting line and finish line. 
Okay, we will go off a starting line. How that works is the leader will kind of control the pace, minimum of 45 mile an hour, what we try to shoot for. Um, pace car will set, set that. Um, and when the leader hits, the guy in the front row, kind of nose to nose, when they get that line, green. The line, leader line, not somebody saying, and it happened to, you know, not a starter, not a flagman, a line. I, obviously, I will try to say green when they get there, but what the only thing consistent is not my my radio could go bad, flagman could drop a flag, break whatever. The line painted on the track doesn't move. So when the the leader and the second place get together, it's up to the second place to stay right there with him, and 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 the leader's got to hold consistent pace. They don't get to change pace. Which, you know, we're watching the pace the entire time, so it's pretty easy to, to visually see that pace, more so than you think you can in your car. So when you get that line, let's go, let's go racing. You hold that lane till you get to the finish line. Pretty standard deal. Yep. Yes, yes, yep. You know, we, we want him to be close to Cam, but, yeah, the leader, we'd like, like, he's the leader, so he gets a little bit, you know. And he gets to choose, so, yep. So the second place, Dan Pass, all the way to the finish line, even though the start line is down in four. Say again. Well, he just said yeah. the leader had to be the first to the finish line. Oh, to the finish line. Oh, totally. No, 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 no. My bad. I thought you said the start line. Yes. No, no, no. Once, once it, it's the start line. Yeah. You don't have – the leader does not have to have it at the finish line. Yeah, my bad. Yeah. I can tell when Bond's got questions. I – wrinkle up so so yes once at the starting line that pretty self-explanatory on that that kind of answer the question you were talking about earlier yep any other questions on the starts like I said the only thing consistent is that line painted on the ground all right so um, all right so that wraps that up Oh, yeah, good question. If you do jump a start, if you do jump a start, um, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and, if someone jumps, we'll go ahead and take the green. We'll wait till you come out of two on a good, safe field, on a good, safe back stretch where we're not all jumbled up, and we'll throw the yellow and do it again. Except that person's going to go to the rear. Got it? So, no, no, because that, that's, that to, for because after that we'll put you in the rear and then we'll, we'll just find you in addition to putting the rear. When you get on the back stretch, safe field, you know, and then whoever jumps, yeah, jump to start. Whoever jumps to start, not to be the leader, could be the guy who's second. Yeah, but we'll wait to. We're not gonna say no, no yellow. You know, right when people are barreling into turn one, we'll wait. Da da da. Understand on that one? Yep. One question on the lucky dog. Do you have to run a green lap to do another lucky dog, or will you get one every caution? No, you don't have to run a green lap. Uh-uh. So if that lap 10, you have a caution, and you don't make a lap 11 for another four tries. Yep. Lucky dog. Yep. Yep. Because it's inside 10 to go. Yep. Any other questions? All right. I'm going to... Um, all right, uh, obviously, um, real quick, some of you guys, um, good folks here at Roush Yates Performance Products have, have been good partners of ours. Um, some of you under your seats, I think, have some uh, gift cards for some free, free stuff here to use. Um, so check under your seats here um, real quick. But uh, um, Jimbo Melton and J.R. Paxton, they're going to talk to you a little bit about Roush Yates and... Uh, I want to give them give them a big round of applause for kind of hosting this deal and uh, let them kind of talk to you a little bit.